Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on Remedy Force Quick Fuse. In this video, we're going to walk through what Quick Fuse are and how to use them. With the Winter 15 release, the Remedy Force console now includes a dashboard and Quick Fuse, enabling staff members to view a consolidated list of their assigned records. For example, Quick Fuse can provide information that staff members need daily, such as tasks assigned to them or their queue, or high priority incidents that may need to be resolved first. Staff members can view quick views that are provided out of the box or shared by other users. System administrators can also grant staff members the permission to create and manage their own quick views. The dashboard, which is a collection of quick views, enables staff members to view a key set of data in one place. Staff members can configure the quick views that are displayed on their dashboard. So let's get started working with quick views. To grant staff members the permission to create and manage their own Quick Views in the Remedy Force console, you must first select the Manage Quick Views checkbox for each user. To demonstrate this, let's navigate to Remedy Force Administration, Manage Users, Add an Edit User, and then simply click the Edit button for the users being updated with this permission. Scroll down to the BMC Remedy Force section of the user form and place a check in the Manage Quick Views checkbox. Then let's go ahead and save our update. And now we're all set to dive into the Quick View technology. I'm going to navigate back to the Remedy Force console. To access my dashboard in Quick Views in the Remedy Force console, click on the View menu. You can see Within that menu, it displays the My Dashboard, My Quick Views, and Shared Quick Views. Let's discuss what each option provides. The My Dashboard menu option enables you to view all the work assigned to you in the form of Quick Views. My Quick Views enables you to access all Quick Views created by you, and Shared Quick Views enables you to access out-of-the-box Quick Views and the Quick Views that are shared by the system administrator and other users. Looking first at shared quick views, you can see there's a large list of out of the box quick views. You may find exactly what you're looking for within this list, but if not, you can edit any of those quick view queries or create a new quick view. To edit an existing quick view, select the quick view and then click the copy query. The Quick View Wizard will take you through the query and you can modify the criteria based on the data you're trying to retrieve. So in this case, we're going to alter our incidents by specified category with incidents by specified CI. Now, you can see that we renamed our new cloned quick view. So instead of category, we're going to go ahead and replace that with CI. Now it's asking us to identify the, the profiles that have access to this quick view. We're going to go ahead and leave that with everybody, but these checks can be altered based on the permissions um, for those that you want to be able to access and use the quick view. So we're going to go ahead and click next. The data source, we're going to maintain that as incident, but again, in, in the queries that, that you may be cloning and adapting, you can, can access any of those data sources. And for those queries involving multiple data sources, this link um, will take you to multiple sources. So within our available fields, we are going to go ahead and remove the category field. And we're going to go ahead and go down and we're going to add configuration item. Now the query conditions here, this is a promptable query. So instead of saying enter a category, we are going to go ahead and make that CI. And then likewise, instead of pulling from the category field, we are going to go ahead and pull from configuration item. And yes, we are updating that. And then we're going to go ahead and leave the other conditions the same. Again, we want to pull the, the open records. Now, we've already identified our column headers and made the adjustment for configuration item um, where we previously had category. 
We're not going to make any color coding adjustments, but you may decide to do that if you're looking at high priority incidents or changes to highlight those in, in red or, or another color. So that capability is there, but we're going to go ahead and click next for our simple example. And then again, we're not really interested in the, the chart view here. We're really looking at a column view. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this and save this now clone query that we have for configuration item. So if we go back up to view and in my quick views, you can see that we now have incidents by specified configuration item. So let's go ahead and just test and quickly run this. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to enter my data. We're going to go ahead and select email as our configuration item. We're going to go ahead and search and we can see that we've pulled back two tickets with a configuration item of email. So we now have that saved quick view. Let's now create a new quick view. So let's click back on our view and we're going to go down to quick views, but now we're going to go to create new quick view. So we're going to create a new quick view for emergency changes. And we're going to go back through the same wizard. And again, we're not going to um, make distinctions between the profiles, so we're going to go ahead and share this with everyone. And the data source this time, instead of incident, we are going to go ahead and use the uh, change request as our data source. And again, we're going to keep this simple example with a single data source, but um, as mentioned previously, multiple data sources can be accessed here. So let's look at the column headers and the fields that we're interested in. Let's come down here. We're going to be interested in the change number, the change type. We're going to look at description. Let's also add the open date. And then we're also going to be interested in the scheduled start of this emergency change. And then let's take a look at the staff member assigned. So now we've got a, a good variety of, of fields and information to look at. Let's start to build our query now. So in this case, as I mentioned, we're looking, it's not going to be a promptable field. We're simply looking at going ahead and, and keying um, on the, the emergency change type. So we're going to go ahead and select change type as our field name, and we want that to equal emergency. And then as with uh, the others, we want to go ahead and narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and add here. We want the state to be true. So state equals true. And then one more, because again, we're looking at, at the open active records. Let's go ahead and add the inactive. Oops. Equals false. Then we're going to go ahead and click next since we finished our query conditions. And now we've already made changes to our, our table view. So we don't need to make any further changes there. We're not going to color code in, in this example. And again, as we take a look at the, the chart view, we're really just interested in table view. So we're going to go ahead and, and save this without making changes to the chart view. And our quick view has been saved successfully. So now let's go back and run our newly created quick view. So we're going to go down to my quick views and we can see that we now have our emergency changes quick view that we just created. And I'm pulling back two changes with a change type of emergency. So now um, let's revisit dashboards. My dashboards again enables you to view all of the work assigned to you in the form of quick views. So let's customize my dashboard using the quick views that we created or modified. So from the view menu, let's go down to my dashboard. And then we're going to click the manage dashboard to view the options to customize the dashboard. So let's select the checkboxes 
next to the quick views that we want to display in the My Dashboard tab. And let's go down and apply our changes. Okay. So now the quick views that we selected have been moved to the selected quick views section. So let's let these refresh. And if we move down, since we already had two there, we can now see that we've got emergency changes and incidents by CI, which we need to quickly run again. And then we've got the, the, again, the changes and the incidents with configuration item for those two views that we created. So you can select a maximum of six quick views from the My Quick Views and Shared Quick Views section. This concludes our video tutorial on the Remedy Force Quick Views and Dashboards. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your customer success manager or email remedyforcesuccess at bmc.com.